Well, I thought we had another uh, really good offensive night. Um, you know, it helps when you throw 17 threes in. Um, but, but ball movement, you know, a high assist night, uh, which helps facilitate some of that. I thought defensively we were, um, you know, pretty good, sometimes really good, um, you know, minimizing some of what they were trying to do. Um, being able to layer the defense and, and make adjustments on the fly, mix in zone, um, hits, you know, uh, being aggressive, more aggressive in pick and rolls. I thought it helped keep them off balance. Um, much better connectivity than what we did uh, in, a, in our first meeting. You know, we tried some of those similar things and it, it didn't work. So it was good to see it, you know, kind of see it through. Um, you know, the one issue is, you know, late in the game, you know, they're going to make a push. They're going to start pressing. I, I didn't think we handled uh, uh, the, the pressure as well as we should have. What, I know there's different games and different circumstances, et cetera, but was there anything that your team did well when they made their push and I think they cut it down to 10? Mm -hmm. um, that where you guys responded, what was the... I think we just continued to try to play, you know, for each other and we, di we didn't get rattled in, in that sense. Um, you know, tr still tried to execute, um, share the ball, and I thought we, you know, in doing so, we benefited. Once you guys, it looks like you guys were rebounding a little bit harder after halftime, just tightening up some of the turnovers. What was kind of the, the flip switch with that? Well, I mean, it, it, we talked about the, this before the game was just the level of detail, you know, attention to detail, and I thought there was some carryover. Um, and then obviously, aside from, you know, late game, not being organized, you know, versus their pressure. I thought, uh, in general, we, we cleaned up some of those details. Um, you know, it's tough because you know you're putting in scramble mode. You're trying to rebound, you know, against a pretty good offensive rebounder. Um, but you put two to the ball. And a lot of times, you're out of position, and you got to find a way to hunt and hit, scramble around, and, and come up with those 50-50 balls. So I thought second half we did a better job doing so. Uh, it's pretty impressive. Yeah, yeah. Uh, look well rested. Uh, and it's good, you know, make shots early, you know, and, and now he's shooting it into a big bucket. I presume you had a good look at Brad Stone. How did you think of it? Uh, it was impressive. Um, yeah, he, he's, he's uh, I think, a better athlete than people give him credit for, and every now and then he sneaks one. Um, and uh, you don't see it, you know, you know all the time because I think he's just so smooth and graceful, and he just turns it over. Um, you know, and it's it's pretty impressive. Do you expect to have Jordan available on uh, Not sure yet. Um, we'll just uh, wait and see how that how that works out. We got stops. You know, it was a little bit easier when Simon went out. Obviously, he's a phenomenal player, and we were able to really just um, you know put two on the ball with Dame almost every every possession in that fourth, and um, you know that allowed us to have other players make plays down the stretch. And, you know, Dame was going to get his because he's a generational player. But, um, you know, we made it tough for him and, and the rest of their ball club. How did you feel with this first game back? Um, I felt cool. I felt cool. Um, you know, I took some extra time, and I thought, I thought that was really, really worth it for me to come out and, and play the type of game I did today, and just feeling healthy. and. Um, Felt good. Felt good. How many times out of ten do you make that three with the two big steps, or just kind of chug it? Before? I do it a lot. I do it a lot. Do do I mean, that? I work on it. I practice it. I practice it almost every day, and um, that's why I make it so much. And me players always say that after shots like this. Yeah. Is that true? But, I mean, you guys see me. I shoot it every day. <laughs> okay. Every day. You told Ben just the rhythm that's showing up in the game. Yeah. So I guess, what does that feel like? How do you know that? Hey, I'm feeling it. This way. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm a confident person, and I just feel like if I can get, you know, especially like a three ball or something, if I get a three to fall, then, um, you know, I'm probably going to shoot another one and, you know, just kind of just build from there. And then once I get into a rhythm, <coughs> it's um, the game just becomes really, really easy because everybody's glued to me. So um, that opens up my teammates, and, um, you know, I'm able just to play, play, play the game like that. So. Last four games have been maybe your guys' most efficient stretch on offense this season. Why is that, do you think? Um, I mean, a little bit of who we've played, maybe. You played, you played, softball, yeah, you played 
Think so? Mm-hmm. It was a good schedule? Who we, who we just played? Know, soft schedule. I mean, oh, I mean, soft schedule. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, soft. Yeah, I mean, maybe who we, who we played. We didn't play really great defensive teams. Um, but we're making strides. I think we did a good job of, I think the biggest way we talk about efficiency is just the way we've been playing, maybe. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, playing the right way, playing extra pass basketball, moving the ball around. And I mean, that's going to cause a lot of um, efficient nights because you're getting quality shots. Uh, should have been me, but it was um, Delon. I don't know why, because I was on Dame and Simons all night. But they'll take it. Sorry. Right. You can point to a variety of things. You know, guys having legs, guys getting back healthy, getting a rhythm. Uh, us just playing at a just a good level, uh, play, building off consistent games, and, and just kind of just kind of keeping that flow going. Uh, I mean, obviously, I think it's. It's us getting our defense going. I think when we get stops and get out in transition and, and just free flow, we kind of play our best basketball. What changed? I know there were different games, but what enabled this team to hold on in this game against Portland after the, the comeback loss back in D.C.? Was there anything that you learned from it or did differently? Uh, I mean, no disrespect, but Anthony got hurt. Um, he went down early. Um, so, I mean, they, him and Dan were putting a lot of pressure on us. Um, but I think we, we did a good job of just making it tough on them. Uh, one area we struggled with, we did better late in the game, is second chance points, you know, giving them second looks at the basket, giving Dame second three-point opportunities, daggers, hits. Uh, and I think we tried to limit those in the second half. We did better a better job of that. And, and it's just our attention to detail on that end, man. We realized that, you know, this is how we're going to win. You know, we can't win unless we get stops, unless we, we, we shut some guys down and make teams miss. And, uh, we've been fortunate we've been able to do that. Obviously, you were not happy with the loss. No one in that locker room was last night. But is that what you were referring to, the, the uh, attention to detail last night when you were discussing the defense? Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, in, in some of the ways, you know, I understand that Clay Clay's a shooter. You know, he's going to light it up. You know, their whole team, Wiggins is an, ag- an aggressive attacker. We kind of allowed them to play to their strengths a little bit, and we didn't take a lot of those things away. I think tonight we did a better job of that. We know Dame is a terrific three-level scorer. You know, it's hard to really contain guys like that. you got to hope they miss a lot of times and just make it tough on them, make them take tough shots. But I think we did a really good job of just corralling him, making them see a lot of bodies and forcing them to pass, which we didn't do the night before. Less compliment to the defense as well, like, like you just said. What do you feel like when it was clicking? What were you doing well? Uh, I think it, was, it starts on the ball. You know, when our point guards are into the ball, into Dame, into Anthony. You know, Kuz took the assignment tonight too. Like it's the rest of the team feeds off of that. You know, you understand that that's the head of the snake, uh, Dame. And so once those guys come off their ball screen and come off whatever it is and one on one, you know, we had to be ready to go help those guys out. Uh, and that's what it was. You know, we understand that it doesn't take much for them to come back and make runs and get back in the game. Dame is magnificent at that. So. Uh, we, just, we just stayed locked in defensively, didn't get out of character. How are you feeling physically with your two? Good. How did you have no pain with that last night? Wouldn't that have been like... Uh, well, I had my teeth knocked out my rookie year, so uh, it was just like a... Just yeah, it just popped out, man. <laughs> and uh, that play where you came down on the three on Davis, what, that looked like it could have been really painful. Are you all right there? Yeah, I'm good. Ankle's good. I landed on his foot. Uh, wasn't malice behind it. It was just a freak play. But I'm all good.